a little video on driver changeovers because it's something which not a lot of people talk about and it's something which if you've been lucky enough to see a driver switch over it can be a quick changeover or a long changeover the first thing I like to do is adjust my seat to make sure I'm comfy I like to sit quite low down to the floor log onto the machine and usually I can do these together so it doesn't take that much time logging onto the machine is the longest part because sometimes it doesn't vary if I your ERG card and then you've got to mess about then trying to get it resorted out it's the logging on, putting your duty in and if you make a slight error in the codes you then have to re-put them all in again and sometimes it does freeze and having a frozen machine is the absolute worst I like to get people boarded on straight away, quick as I can and with them rapid days we can go Every driver changes over differently to the last but the first thing you need to do is have a quick walk up and down your bus to make sure there's no items or anything left on the bus by any passengers so just a little walk down picking things up as I'm walking along and making sure it's tidy picking metros up popping them back in the bay and having a quick little look for defects on the way down because there might be something new on the bus might be some new graffiti which I need to report and it may need to get taken off before it's back out in service so the metro just goes straight back into there for somebody else to read well, then the next important thing are these your mirrors so you sat differently in the cab to the last driver so you may need to adjust your mirrors higher or lower to see down the sides of the bus that is so you can see how close you are to cars what's behind you and any passengers on this side if they run into the bus you can see them as well as for instance Huddersfield we do all our changes over on the back wall so no passengers really see us change over just from the back the upside to this is it's seamless for the passengers and there's no delays on the stand the downside is really if the bus comes in late the changeover may take five minutes if everything if there's something i need to be talked about something on the route the passengers just see the back wall and they just see me and the next driver chatting so sometimes you'll get the odd comment you're supposed to be coming over here five minutes ago not stood talking i just said well i need to know what's going on because if there's a road closed i need to know what road's closed and how to get by it because i've lived in huddersfield now for two years two three years and for a year of that the only thing I'm, the only place i knew where to go is asda i used to go from my house to asda and back but working on the buses i've learned all the little side streets and all the way around and everywhere now so if a driver changeover takes a little bit longer, give the driver a little bit of consideration because he is behind the wheel of the bus for up to five and a half hours. So the first thing I like to do is get, get comfy and get ready for my stint of driving. Just another little video and I hope you enjoy it. If you've not already subscribed, please do. Just get them numbers built up. Like and share and as well, pop it comments, look at my Facebook page, give us a like on that and a message if they really want. And as well, look in the bottom section for the latest to Sean's video, which will be up soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.